Michael Anthony reflects on his unresolved relationship with Eddie Van Halen, wishing they had the chance to mend their issues before the legendary guitarist's death. During an appearance on the Talk and Rock with Meltdown podcast, Anthony, who served as Van Halen's bassist and backing vocalist from 1974 to 2006, expressed regret over their lack of communication. Eddie Van Halen passed away at 65 last October after a long battle with cancer. We haven't really talked, and unfortunately we didn't get a chance to, Anthony said. It bothers me because we had some issues that were never resolved. He lamented the missed opportunity for a reunion, stating, but I mean, what can you do? Life goes on. In the podcast, Anthony also discussed Van Halen's privacy regarding his illness. Eddie was very private about his illness, he noted, adding that while they all knew he was sick, the news of his passing hit hard. Following Van Halen's death, Anthony paid tribute on Instagram, writing, no words heartbroken, my love to the family. Former lead singer Sammy Hagar also shared his experiences with Van Halen before his death. Hagar, who replaced David Lee Roth in 1985 and performed with the band until 1996, revealed that he had been in contact with Van Halen earlier in 2020. Eddie and I have been texting, and it's been a love fest since we started communicating, Hagar said during a segment on Howard Stern's Sirius XM radio show. He emphasized that they chose to keep their communication private to avoid speculation about reunions knowing they wouldn't happen. However, Hagar noted a shift in their communication. He stopped responding to me about a month ago and I thought that was bad, Hagar shared. When he didn't respond one last time, I thought it was a matter of time, but it came too soon. Reflecting on his relationship with Van Halen, Hagar previously told Classic Rock Report in 2016 that he held no regrets or bad feelings. He emphasized the importance of resolving conflicts, saying, I don't want to be buried with regrets or bad feelings like that. He encouraged friendship over animosity, stating, You don't want to die with enemies. It woke me up and said, No more enemies. Before I die, I'm not going to have any enemies, if I can help it. Both Anthony and Hagar's reflections highlight the deep bond they shared with Van Halen and the heartache of unresolved issues in their relationships.